Dear viewers, welcome back to the analysis of Yoleno TV. Now Sabina Chege and Kanina Kanini Kega seems to have been caught between a hard rock and a hard place. Mount Kenyans have always spoken in one voice and I strongly believe that Sabina Chege will jump ship. And that is because of the recent moves that Rigadi Gachago has been making to unite all the Manu, all, all Mount Kenya leaders. To prepare them so that never again as a community to tapatikana to meka bila mpango. So to tapanga. Ata wiu Sabina Chege muti ya jubilii to tapeka wa fatraiza ukuja sawa sawa. So munajua wiu Sabina Chege? Yes. Eh, wakuja nyumbani ya mwaka inje? Wakuja nyumbani? Eh, hey, hata kanini tumemleta jana tunaweka kidogo kidogo walikuwa wamepotea tutajaribu kurudisha kuwapanga panga mpaka waingie laini. Mungetaka tuwapange ama tuachane na wazame? Hiyo ndiyo mnasema? Hey, we will mentor and we want to bring this mountain together. We want to bring our leaders together as a region. Remember Uhuru Mwige Kenyatta has not had a meeting with Raila Molo Dinga and being that they are the top as Mio One Kenya Alliance leaders, they ought to have met and maybe strategize, discuss about a number of issues, but you realize that ever since elections, that meeting has not taken place. I tend to compare this as a Mio crisis with the Jubilee crisis, whereby Uhuru Megei Kenyatta also did not convene a meeting between him and between him and, and, the, and the deputy president back then, who was the deputy party leader of Jubilee Party. So, in the wake of realization of what has happened within the Kenya Kwanzaa leaders, people have started to believe that maybe Mount Kenya are beginning to unite so that they can speak in one voice and should not, that unity be realized that it means they will all be in one political formation. From the look of things, definitely that formation is not going to be Jubilee and it's not going to be Azimio formation. But from the recent moves that Rigadi Gachago has been making is to woo these leaders into the Kenya Kwanzaa fraternity and in specific and in, into the Kenya Kwanzaa alliance and specifically UDA. So Sabina Chege was in attendance in, in that meeting that uh, was convened by Rigadi Gachagua and uh, Rigadi Gachagua would Sabina to Sabina Chege to join the to join UDA so that Asiacho Inje Asiacho Gizani. You know, he was talking to the people of Mount Kenya, asking them for permission or asking them whether that was the right thing. But the people told Rigadi Gachago that that is the right move, that Sabina Chege should join. So why am I thinking that Mount Kenya will be united? There was a meeting that was convened in the set house by William Samai Ruto. And in that meeting, a list of five members was unveiled. And these five members were members who are going to be voted for the Iyala uh, seat. So allow me to read uh, the, the, the names of those members. I mean, the five members were Iringo, Maina, Omar, Kering, and Muteti. Those were the ones under Kenya Kwanza who were voted in to represent Kenya in the Iyala uh, positions. So the ones who were dropped from that list was the David Sankok and Falhada Deko Imani. Mind you, David Sankok and Falhada were the ones that William Samaruta had preferred that they be voted for during this Iyala voting. And Iringo and Maina were not in that list. So you find that Maina comes from the Mount Kenya community, but he was not in that list that William Samaruto uh, unveiled and that these people were supposed to settle the, the, the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance was supposed to vote for these members mind you the, the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance have, have a lot of have so many the, the numbers of Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance around 199 
were enough to vote all the, that five lists into uh, for the Yala positions. But they decided to go and vote Maina and vote Iringo and drop some coke and Falhada. They even went to an, as an extent of voting for Kanini Kega, who comes from Mount Kenya. So in that meeting that was convened by Rigadi Gachagua, uh, the, the, mm -hmm. not state of the, but the, the second meeting, Rigadi Gachagua told the people of Mount Kenya that he was there to represent their interests. We have our young leaders, and I want to give a commitment to the people of this region. The people of this region, we are mentoring our young leaders, and we are preparing them for leadership and for great things ahead. Because this is our resource, is our future. And we have a responsibility to prepare them. So that never again, as a community, tutapatikana tumeka bila mpango. So tutapanga. So I think that was a strong message to William Samaruto that look here. I, as Rigadi Gachagua, am only representing Mount Kenya. So that was the message that Rigadi Gachagua conveyed to William Samaruto directly. There was no hiding the cards, ladies and gentlemen, during that meeting. Rigadi Gachagua made it known that his interest was Mount Kenya. So I think the next move that, that most people are beginning to, to feel is going to happen is that perhaps Rigadi Gachagua is going to unite with Uhuru Miguel Kenyatta. Because mind you, there is a DRC peace talk in Kenya that is going to be held this month. Now, the tricky thing with this is that the president of the Republic of Kenya, William Samaritu, is likely to be on the same podium with Uhuru Miguel Kenyatta. Because Uhuru Miguel Kenyatta is the one who is, who is who's actually has been appointed to oversee this peace talk. So, in a nutshell, William Samoy Ruto will be in attendance. I think that will be the first meeting that William Samoruto comes, I think the second one after inauguration, that William Samoruto comes and, and share the same platform with the Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. You've seen the move by the parliamentarians to reject a list that William Samaruta had fronted. I myself term that move as a as a, a way of defying the president. So Mount Kenyans are already showing William Samaruta that if we could, we could defy our own Uhuru Mugia Kenyatta, who was the president of the Republic of Kenya. Why can't we defy you? So they decided to defy William Samoy Ruto's list and went for a list that Rigadi Gachagua had opted for. So that is already a supremacy battle between Rigadi Gachagua and William Samoy Ruto. So Rigadi Gachagua is directly telling William Samoy Ruto, look here, that in Mount Kenya, I'm the person, I'm the boss here. You are the president, but I'm the boss of Mount Kenya. So he rallied Mount Kenya people to vote for Iringo and Maina and not to vote for Falhada and David Sankok. So this was a strong message to William Samoy Ruto. Ladies and gentlemen, despite the fact that Samson Cherengai decided to downplay that, even Kimani Ichungwa attempted to downplay it in parliament, but the truth of the matter is that Rigadi Gachagua proved to William Samoy Ruto that he's the one who controls Mount Kenya Mafia. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to raise my case there, but you can share your views below the comment section there. But if you're not subscribed, please take a moment and subscribe to your Leno TV. Once again, I'd like to say thanks so much for those who've been supporting our channel. And also, I'd like to urge you to stay safe and stay blessed until we meet again for our next analysis.